Thursday, August 22nd, 2024, Dream Vlog. Um, so I dreamt I went to this apartment. It was like a house, actually. And it was weird. It was a house. Then it turned into an apartment complex. It was weird. So, um... I uh, was in this house. It was my homie Junior Ortiz's house. And, uh... And shit. And I was... I don't know. Oh, it wasn't his house at first. It changed to his house. I don't know. It was confusing the dreams. How dreams work. But anyways, um, I was at this house anyways, and they were partying. Fucking Desus Neros was there. Desus Neros, a uh, uh, Northern Kelly rapper. And then some other people were there, and we're just kicking and chilling, and um, and uh, we're kicking and chilling. And, um, and, uh, he looked, like, just real humbled on some, on some, like, he was chilling, he was having fun, but he also had a, a ulterior motive or something like that. And then everyone was kicking in, there was two couches, and then, uh, and we're just chilling, drinking, and then he finished his beer, and, uh, and I was like, I need a beer. And he's like, I'll go get him. He's like, I'll go, I'll go get it. I'll go get it and shit. And uh, I said, I'll go to the store. I was like, I don't want to go to the store right now because I told him I don't want to go to the store. And he's like, I'll, I'll go get it and shit. And you know what I mean? I'll go to the store and shit. And uh, and uh, I was like, oh, fuck, fuck that. I forgot I had a bottle. I had a bottle over there behind the couch and shit. And these couches remind me of the, of the couches where the Mexicans, these Mexicans that lived on the street that play in a band. It reminded me of those kind of those couches uh, that they were sitting on that I got on the live stream on Facebook, and then um, and then uh, yeah, I was like I was like, hey, yeah, I got a bottle. You don't even have to go to the store and shit. And then I went to go behind the couch, try to find my bottle and shit. But anyways, I was chilling, and then some fool came in, some white dude came in. Some white dude came in with his homies. He had like two homies. There was three people. <laughs> and he had a big old bag, like a Ziploc bag of mushrooms. And it was mixed with like some, I don't know, like some little crystallized things. <laughs> but he was getting, giving, we went to the room. And the room was like half outside and half inside. It was weird. And then uh, he gave me the mushrooms. And I started eating or something. I started feeling like, like a buzz or whatever. <laughs> But he was saying it was, like, weed. But when he pulled it out, it was mushrooms. It was weird. I don't know. It could represent laced laced weed, laced dr drugs or something. I don't know. It could represent something. But anyways. Um, um, Gave me something that had like a little, like I felt felt it in the dream, like I got high a little bit, but I was still in control and shit. Like it wasn't super high; it was just like a little fucking head change. And then, um, and then I seen the mushrooms. It had mushrooms in it, and then crystallized some, like something crystallized when I looked through the bag. And then, uh, it looked like kind of like bath salts or something. And then, uh, like it looked like bath salts mixed with mushrooms. And then, um, and then, uh, uh, I'm walking, I'm going, I'm going to the living room, other fools on the couch. And then, uh, but yeah, it looked like the Mexican's couch in, in the dream. And, um. And I'm just chilling. And then finally, for some reason, I wanted to leave. 
someone tried to influence my dream later in the dream i'll, I'll get to that later uh either a psychic or some because i heard their voice but anyways um uh and then i'm going i'm going out and uh Um, and anyways, we're chilling. The other white dude pulls out a fucking sack of powder, and it was like coke or some shit. And then me and him go do it. I'm sober, so I'm not tripping on none of this at all. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, Anyways, uh, he pulls out a sack of powder, and then me and him are going to go do it, and then he tries to set me up for a sack of powder, and, like, he gives me the sack of powder, right, to go do it, and then, um, then he had called, like, so the police show up, and the police show up, I'm fucking throw the sack back at him, this motherfucker, <laughs> uh, before the police come in, and the police, like, show up, I'm jumping off the back of thing, and there's, like, a big old balcony, like, a big old balcony with a wooded balcony around it, so that means that someone was gonna try to set me up for drugs, and then someone else was gonna try to give me, like, mushrooms or drugs, and, and, and um, and bath salts or some shit, so they were gonna set me up on multiple things, and then, um, they were basically trying to get me high or to black out and then set me up but anyways, um, I ended up jumping on the back out, back, back balcony, the back balcony, um, the back balcony, and I'm hanging out for the back balcony, and I'm looking up, and there, someone comes out the back door, and it was one of them that was trying to set me up, and I don't see him, but then I'll, I'll fucking walk around the, the, the side of the house, and there was, like, grass, and then, uh, there was, like, bushes on too, but there's a grass area, <laughs> And then I see this white lady, and she's holding like a Bible thing. It wasn't a Bible; it was like a, it was like a religious book, a Christian book, like a Mormon book or something. Um, it wasn't a Mormon book exactly. It was like a a Bible with a different cover, kind of looked like a shiny cover. And then she's talking about God and preaching to God. And I was like, yeah, God's been reaching out to me. Da 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 da. da. God's trying to see back into me, and then, uh, I was like, God's been reaching out to me, thank you, and then she's looking over the bushes, like, someone was watching me from around the way, and she's, like, mean mugging them, kind of, like, looking and protecting me, and then I'm walking past her, and I just kind of, not ignore her, but kind of just keep it, keep it pushing, and then in the backyard, there was a fence, and then that's when the house turned into an apartment complex, and then I go to the side of the house. There was a bed outside, a twin-sized bed outside next to bushes and, and behind the apartment complex. And I'm laying in this bed, and I'm it's like I just woke up, and I see my homie Junior Ortiz. And then, uh, and then I'm documenting my dream on this little fucking recorder and um, this little voice recorder thing. And it was like a Hot Wheel car in my hand. But I was, I had a button on it, and the button recorded, recorded uh, sound and shit. <laughs> and um, and uh, <laughs> and um, um, uh, and uh, I was documenting my dream inside my dream. Or what had happened or whatever. But in my dream, it was like a dream. But it had happened in, in the dream. So I was already on the subconscious level of waking up and documenting my dream. And basically knew I was going to remember my dream before I even woke up. And Junior Ortiz was right there too. And then I started seeing all these black people. These light-skinned black people. And then um, someone had died. A little girl had died um, in a black casket. And they were they were inviting us to her like funeral or her food, you know when they give food, what is called the celebration life, whatever. 
and they were inviting us. They're like, you guys can come. It was like 18, 18, 33 or some shit like that. They were giving us an address. And I was like, what? And I was like jotting it down in my dream. And this light-skinned and black people's kid died. And I, the casket was open. It was a black casket. And then she had black socks on and a black shirt on. And uh, you could see her uh, with black hair. I don't know. It was crazy. And they were all carrying her casket right in front of us to like a house or something and they were going up to like a funeral party thing and it ended up being Deontay's family my homie Deontay Wilson's family and then um and then uh uh I was like yeah I look like your sister da 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 and uh they all had like green eyes and fucking light skin and shit and then um and then uh And then I, I, Deontay came, Deontay, Deontay came to my dream, and he was sitting, chilling, you know what I mean? How his always vibe is, is chill and fucking, you know, his vibe. And then, uh, and he was chilling on, there was a couch outside, and he was chilling on it. And then some other people were chilling on it, and I was telling him, I was like, yeah, it was like your family and shit. This, they were they were inviting us over, da 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 and basically telling him, you know what I mean? And then, uh, so someone had a died in their family, a little girl. And then, um, and then... They carried him and invited us over to the funeral and shit or the, the celebration of life or whatever it was. And then um and then I woke up.